What's up, everybody? I'm Erin. I teach new VAs how to run thriving businesses. And part of running a thriving business is figuring out how to handle the most commonly requested tasks from clients. Today is kind of a fun one because we're talking about presentation design and how you can help make your clients' presentations better. So here's how this video works. I'm going to give you a prompt. You are actually going to do the task. Spend no more than five to 10 minutes on it. I am not trying to take up hours of your day, but I want you to get a good sense for how to handle some of these tasks. You're going to pause the video, do the task, then you're going to come back and compare your answers to mine. Hopefully along the way, you learn some tips, uh, gets your creative juices flowing. Maybe you learn a thing or two. That is the goal. And without further ado, let's hop into the prompt. You're a VA for a marketing team. They need you to polish a presentation for an upcoming client pitch. The presentation will focus on the benefits of their new marketing campaign. Now, here's the thing about this prompt. I've already created a fake presentation for you. It is just the bare minimum. It's just text, basically, because that's what clients usually do. Whenever I have clients who give me a presentation to finesse, it's usually just some text on a page and they're like, make it look nice. So that is what I've done for you. The link in the description of this video includes a presentation on Google Slides. You can save it as your own copy. So what I want you to do is go up to file, hit uh, save a copy as, that will essentially allow you to open up the file and edit it. Okay, so that's the first step is most important. You have to save a copy so that you can actually make edits. I want you to go through and actually genuinely spend a few minutes uh, making it look nice, find images, find relevant videos, whatever you think this presentation needs. You have a lot of design flexibility here. Then I want you to come back and compare your slides with mine. And we'll talk a little bit more about the ins and outs of how to make a great presentation on your client's behalf. Okay, just a reminder, if uh, you can't edit it, go up to file, hit make a copy, do entire presentation, and then save a copy of this to your Google Drive. Once you do that, you'll be able to make edits. So we're gonna make this quick and we're gonna make this simple, but essentially clients are pretty good about giving you written words and asking you to either add visuals, make it better, look for mistakes, which I have a couple mistakes uh, peppered in here and there. We'll see how many you catch. They essentially just want you to clean it up and make it look better. So I've created a fake marketing agency presentation for you. You don't have to change any of the content itself. That's also pretty realistic of clients. They don't necessarily want you to write the content of their presentation, but they do want you to make it better. So, um, oh, and at the end of this very short presentation, I have a couple tips for us for best practices for presentations as well. So make sure you're sticking around to the end. First thing I want to do is, uh, is tell you that even though slides seem pretty antiquated, I have a fair share of clients who still use Google Slides. None of my clients use Canva. I know Canva is a pretty popular tool amongst us VAs. Um, I have a couple clients who use Keynote, but for the most part, they use slides, which is why we're using slides as well. A couple things I want to show you. Um, if you did want to insert images, uh, Slides has done something kind of interesting. There's this brand new connection with Gemini. So I think we all know that Gemini, uh, that Slides and Gemini are both owned and run by Google. Let's have it create a computer showing funny viral me. I don't know if, I don't know if this is gonna work. Okay, it's given us two options. I like that they think teeth is just a funny meme. Um, clearly, AI has a problem with words since those are not real. So let's not do that. Let's just, uh, let's pretend like our clients have their own office. So maybe we can just create what our marketing agency looks like. Uh, that's fine. A um, table of contents looks fine to me. Let's go down to the about us. Um, I did mention, so I've written all this content by the way, and I did mention that there are a couple mistakes either um, in editing or spelling. So the nice thing is that for the most part, a red underline will help you catch spelling mistakes, but I did purposely leave out a couple commas as well. Clients very often make spelling mistakes or they have grammar errors. So it is still important for you to read through the content that your client is creating. And I think the rest of that looks fine. Shout out to anyone who picked up that this is a Drake lyric. 
which is funny because I actually really don't like Drake. I don't know if that's an unpopular opinion, but quick error there. Um, if you wanted to, you could also do some reformatting. Maybe you want to pull that down. I'm totally fine with this slide in and of itself. Moving on to slide number five, if you guys were to change anything, uh, the only thing I would do is I purposely made, um, again, spacing, I made this too close. So I would move this down. Moving on to the next slide, um, I actually had AI come up with this fake quote, so I hope you love it. But if they did have a quote from somebody for real, who was talking about their agency, you, I would highly recommend inserting a photo of that person. So what I would do here is I would actually just upload from the web. I like slides makes it really easy because you don't have to actually exit out anymore and go to Google. You can just search for everything in here. So um, let's pretend that Rihanna made this quote and cause she's a badass. Um, and here we go. I'm gonna select this image and I'm gonna click insert. And without even having to leave Google Slides, I have my photo. I wanted to reinforce that, uh, that an image always reinforces the concept that your clients are trying to share. So for example, I made up here that, um, that the name of the marketing company, um, Disrupt, says that 92% of their campaigns trend for 48 hours. This is a fake image made up concept. But if this were a real quote that your client were trying to make the point across, like how would you create an image that reinforces that concept? Most simply, it could be an image of, if we go back to Gemini, it could be an image of, I don't, I don't even know if this will work. It could be an image of a, a chart like a growth chart. I, hopefully Gemini will do what I'm envisioning, but um, I really hate their fake words and symbols. I'm excited for the day that AI can figure out how to write real words um, on images, but today is not that day. So let's not do that one. Let's do, let's go back to pixels because I think that's better. Um, if your clients, by the way, don't have, oops, their own, bespoke photos or videos to use, then Pexels as a royalty-free option, I think is always better than simply getting images off the internet. And that's because you don't really know where those images come from. And I wanna insert an image uploaded from my computer. There we go, there's the image that we just downloaded. If we wanted to format an image, we unfortunately can't just click and crop. It's unlike Canva, it's a little less friendly. So what we instead have to do is come up to this format tool. So I wanna format the image, crop the image. So we have this image of this little chart going up and hopefully that reinforces that 92% of their campaigns go viral. Last but not least, we have a little meet the team. Hope you guys think these are funny. Personally, I thought this one was funniest, but if I wanted to add a little pizzazz and a little color to this, I left this one blank so I could show you guys that, that Google Sheets is pretty good at sh shapes. We'll need to go to arrange and of course send this backwards so that our hello is front and center. Do the same with this woman. Arrange, order, send to back. We can add a small drop shadow for a little extra pizzazz. We can reflect if we wanted to reflect um, the partial image, but I actually just want to change the color. So how do we do that? We go, we uh, click on our element, we come up to the three dots up here and we're looking for a different fill color. The last thing that I want to remind you guys is that if your client asks you to create a presentation from scratch, that's a whole different ball game. Here are the four questions um, and things that I need you to think through. So screenshot this because it's very important. The first thing you need to do is ask if they have a company template already pre-made. If you're working with a medium to large company, chances are they have an in-house design team that's already created a template that you just have to drag and drop images in and format the text and make it fit into the company template. If they don't, 
then you want to ask for things like what's your color scheme? How many slides is it going to be? Are we using visuals? Is it mostly photos? Is it videos? You want to make sure that you're aligning with your client before you create it on what their vision is. Because if you waste your time and create something that they hate, they're going to be unhappy. You're going to feel embarrassed. So save yourself the heartache and make sure that you two are hopping on a call and you can align on their vision. Next, you really need to define their audience. Um, Each presentation should be tailored to who your client is trying to reach. And lastly, visuals are more important than text. So if you have a client that's just giving you like a book and the slide is just all text, see how much you can get rid of. See if you can reinforce any images um, or find images that might reinforce the point that they're trying to make. Um, And then last but not least, my best tip for you is it's really about connecting with your audience and leaving them with a a clear takeaway or as clear as possible. Um, So less text, more visuals. And then of course, when you are done, like with any Google slide, you would simply share this by clicking this button Uh, Theoretically, your client will have already shared this with you, but you can change it to anyone with a link. Um, Can be an editor. You would copy this link and then you would send that to your clients so that they could make edits as well right within presentations itself. Okay, so how did you guys do? How did you feel about that presentation? Um, I have clients uh, in the wealth management and venture capitalism fields. Those are my niches. And quite frequently, they send me pretty ugly and terrible presentations uh, for their own investment meetings. So anytime I see them, I'm always like, this is terrible, and you're never going to raise any money like this. Um, So hopefully the tips that I've shared were helpful. You can revisit this video anytime, specifically, uh, particularly if you have a client who asks you to make a presentation for them. And do be sure to check out this playlist. The entire playlist that's popping up here is specifically for virtual assistants. I go through a ton of different common training for the most frequently requested tasks like calendar management, inbox management, booking flights, research, all that good stuff. Thank you guys so much for tuning in this week. Uh, As always, you are appreciated and I will see you on next week's practice video.